is baby shower day. That's right, it is. And your hair has magically uh, curled itself again. I know. Any people we got come over? About, I about don't 20? Know. 20 something. Yeah, something like that. But uh, we uh, we got pretty much everything we needed yesterday, but today we need to go get the cupcakes and. Balloons. The, oh, yeah, the balloons. We dropped the balloons off. And ice. But any other thoughts about the party today? Me? <laughs> well, I'm not talking to the dogs. Do you guys have any thoughts about the party? I don't know. out there but it says it's a GMC. Is that a good thing? <laughs> uh, the ladies here at Rouse are unbelievable. Check out those balloons. Looking pretty good and we got cupcakes. We got we got lots of stuff that's not good for us but hey it's a baby shower. Every time we go to the store, Kathy has to take the dogs and put them on the hill. That's basically where the wild cockapoo idea came from. And they're basically being wild right now, but we gotta go, we got stuff to do, man, let's go. It's about 1.30 and we're getting ready for all these guys to come up. I think there's enough parking spaces. I think there's enough. I don't really know who's coming. There, there's going to be a lot. Kathy's got it handled, but uh, it's turned out to be kind of a beautiful day, kind of windy, and we've decorated the place, so I'll show you. What do you got going in there? I have taquitos. Ooh. Mini taquitos. And then what's this? Chili. Mmm. Check it out. Holy cow. Uh, does that look good? I'm gonna be eating some of that. Pretty much everything is in place. Uh, the dogs are now excited because the mail just got here. You wanna know what I mean? Hey guys, you wanna go get the mail? Let's go get the mail, come on. Shawnee's here. What's up, baby? <laughs> baby shower. Yeah. I know. Uh, you have the right yeah. shirt on for well, today. That's right. Oh.
it is wheels and waves time. Uh, but we have priorities and, and we gotta hit the head and they're all locked. So uh, there are some bushes around. I thought about that, but it's too cold. No. I'm in jacket and sweatshirt yeah. and long sleeves. So uh, it's, no, it's too cold. It's a very cold morning, but uh, we're raring to go. Yes, we're all we set are. up and we just have to, uh, you know, kind of do our business. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Cardoon. Hey, what's up, wow. buddy? Wow, so this is what it's like in Malibu before 7 a.m. Yeah, colder than hell. Yeah, good morning. It's an awesome Beautiful day. Waves is going off. We still got lots of cars that are coming in. It's a very exciting time because um, there's been some changes that have happened here recently, as I mentioned, uh, for some of the car shows in Malibu. But we got a good turnout. The sun's a bit bright. It is brisk and cold. But look at these cars. It's freaking awesome. Where's the light? There it is. Hey, Much better. Oh, no, I can't see it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And look who I ran into. Uh, this is Simon Reed, stuntman, actor extraordinaire. Did I miss it? Jackie Chan stunt double. Uh, Jackie Chan stunt double. Uh, hopefully you won't be doing too many stunts today. I hope not. <laughs> I like this car because I didn't even know what it was. That's the Kia Stinger. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, it's amazing. And the guy told me the price of it. Yeah. Very affordable. Yes. I like that. You can get two. <laughs> uh, you've done car stunts. I have. Right? What's the best car stunt story that you can think of? Instead of driving it, actually falling out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really about driving, it's about being launched out of one of the cars. Yeah, I got launched out. Yeah. But then I did do a, a Toyota commercial and a Toyota RAV4 or something like that. That's what I'm driving right there. Ah, there That's, you go. I have that okay. right now today. Yeah. So I was doing a, a, a precision driving and I had to hit a puddle to make sure the water hits the camera mm -hmm. and I had to be like two, three inches away from the camera and that was the most stressful job for me ever. <laughs> This is Cindy, um, Simon's wife. Uh, really the brains behind the outfit, aren't you? A little bit, just yes, a little bit. Just, yeah, <laughs> she's very humble. You guys have had a, a martial arts studio for how long? Well, we've been there for about 35 years Yes. in Woodland Hills, and uh, actually coming on 40 years at this point. It is one yeah. of the best places uh, that you can imagine if you ever wanted to learn. Even if, you wanted to, uh, if you're young and you want to be a stuntman or you want to get into that the same world that Simon's in, yeah, uh, it's a great way to start. Absolutely, we have a lot of kids in there. We have kids that are actually becoming stunt people. We have stunt oh, yeah. people that are actually training there. So it's a good place. There's a good energy. People yeah. are very supportive. It's where I learned to fall down pick up check. There you go. Right. <laughs> and what's the name of the dojo? It's Simon Reed Taekwondo in Woodland Hills. And what's the website? It's www.simonreed.net. .net. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Great Thank to you see too. you guys. Stunt Lincoln. It's the Stunt Lincoln. Uh, you've done a lot of car stuff too. Yes. Jump, jumping out of cars. Yeah, that's always a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that you won't do? 
I learned that I'm not a good water guy <laughs> on the last Oh, show. I know that story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Is there any anything that you would not ever consider doing? Because you tried to light me on fire one time. I would not do car hits anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to do high falls anymore. Yeah. No, hey, I'm, I'm, high I'm, impact I'm, stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, you get a little older and you also get a little wiser. Yes. Because you don't bounce okay. back from that as fast. We aren't older, we're just wiser. We never age. Yeah. Well, the class well, that I teach, it's uh, action acting, and it's it's not a stunt class, and it's not an acting class. It right. just teaches young actors and actresses to be safe like on that. set, yeah. uh, basic fight stuff, basic weapon stuff for safety. Yeah. Such as like when the, when the round ejects from a weapon, that right. it's hot, and, yeah. and if you're next to another actor or actress, it's dangerous. So right. how to avoid that stuff. Right. something that most uh, vehicular contraptions don't do, Yes. which is right there. Yeah, so it's a 1966 right-hand drive, ex-Ministry of Defense, British military, Land Rover ambulance, beer truck, mobile bartending <laughs> service. The most important uh, part of that entire description is the beer truck beer part. Truck, exactly. yes. And, yes, and why? Why do you have this uh, ambulance as a beer truck? Because uh, people need thirst aid. <laughs> they used to have first aid, now they have thirst aid. Thirst aid. And uh, it soon will be, it will be pumping coffee in the mornings as well. Oh, then that's, that's all we need to know. Yeah. yeah. So where can people find more of, more information about this than what you do? Uh, Soldier of the Great Poor at uh, soldierofthegreatpoor.com or uh, Instagram, Soldier of the Great Poor on Instagram. Awesome. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Once again, Wheels and Waves, uh, this is Frank from Wrench Nation. Uh, the number one automotive radio station. I was going to say in Arizona, but on the planet. Well, we have a podcast. Uh, everybody's a, got a podcast. Everyone's got a everyone's podcast. Everyone's got a podcast. Because everyone's got something to say. <laughs> yes, they do. But this man, uh, this young man has a lot to say about the car world, uh, an expert in so many different fields. Tell me about the show. Well, we're just grateful. Number one, there is a connection to the youngsters, younger mechanics that are coming up in the industry. Right. Uh, we do travel, uh, great places like this, tell the story, yeah. uh, and really just trying to inspire. And we're celebrating 100 shows. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's the way the universe works. Right. It connects people, and, That's right. and we're just grateful. Uh, we just added a second station, Great. Um, which is really cool. Just so you can hit all, all of Arizona now. All of Arizona, and yeah. you can certainly catch the podcast, uh, iTunes, Ranch Nation. Talk a little bit of car care, too. Right. A little bit of car what's, care. What's the website? RanchNation.tv. TV. TV, maybe podcast yeah. to TV. We'll see. <laughs> And so uh, you're walking around, you brought the Cobra in. Yep, we brought tell, the Cobra Tell in. me a little bit about that car. Sure, that Cobra, uh, uh, that's not the exact one, but one identical to it. Yeah. That was made by Carol Shapley. was the first American car to ever win Le Mans. Oh, uh, yes. That's the same car. It's made out of all aluminum, but obviously they made several, you yeah, know. But yeah. it's, it's really great. It's have, you been, have you been to the uh, the Shelby Museum in Colorado? No, I haven't. It's, it's Carol's. Carol's. I, I didn't even know Carol had a museum. Oh, there. it's incredible. They made a hell of a car, because that car is an oldie but goodie, but yeah. man, it is fast. It is. Fast. It runs very well. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. Every dinner, Kathy and I, before we eat dinner. Uh, we sit down and we cheers. But we also ask each other what the the best moment of the day was. In this way, we get an opportunity to express some gratitude right before dinner. And I, I think that people miss an opportunity to, to look for ways to 
be grateful. And gratitude is the, the great powerhouse. And for me, doing a show like Whales and Waves uh, builds enormous gratitude within me because it allows me to, to see people having such a good time and doing what they love and, and to be present in the moment. And that's where, that's where change exists. That's where joy exists, happiness. All the things that seem elusive in our lives, uh, abundance, uh, you know, being able to make a lot of money, being able to, to do the things we want and make wise choices, to be able to do the things that we love. These things seem elusive because we're not thinking in, in terms of being present, appreciating things now, in this moment. When you do a car show or go to a car show or, or hang out with a, a group of people that, that seem to be in the moment, then that, that's the most joyous occasion that you can experience. Now, it doesn't have to be a car show. It can be a show, whatever. It can be a concert. It can be anything that you're either into, but it's the reason that people pay a lot of money to go do these things. With anything about wheels and waves or any cars and coffee type of experience, you don't have to pay any money to go do these things. You can come to them. You can enjoy them. You can have a good time. You get to spend time with friends. You get to meet new people. You get to hear car stories. You just get to enjoy your life. You get to be present and experience joy in the moment. And that's where it is. It doesn't exist anywhere else. It doesn't exist tomorrow or yesterday or anywhere else. Joy, happiness, peace all exist in this moment right now. And the best thing for me today uh, at Wilson Waves was the, the tremendous gifts that I got from everyone. From the fact that, that Simon came to the show, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but Simon wasn't feeling too hot. He wasn't feeling too good. And he still came to the show. You know, with my good friends, uh, Stuart, uh, you know, another incredible stuntman, and Diane, you know, all these people, they, they love being able to share their stories. I, I wanted to introduce them to Simon and get a chance for everyone to talk and to to experience that joy and to and to, to have some kind of camaraderie. You made this grand trip. A lot of you came from Orange County to come to the show and to experience that. I'm enormously grateful for my team. These guys want to do the same thing I want to do. They want to give the people that come to the show the best possible experience. But if you guys want to have more things in your life that you love, to do more things that you love, the answer, the simple answer lies in gratitude. That's not a, a difficult thing to understand. It is a difficult thing to practice. Being grateful as often as possible doesn't leave any room to be judgmental doesn't leave any room to be to be critical it doesn't leave any room to be angry or frustrated and that's the best part about it you're just grateful you're always feeling good so try it today uh you know uh, after you watch the vlog uh, set a precedent set a, a goal today to feel as much gratitude as you possibly can and i think you'll find by the end of the day you'll be able to say like me I had a spectacular day. So thank everybody uh, for joining me at Wheels and Waves, hanging out and having a good time. And thank you guys for watching today's vlog because without you guys, there would be no vlog. Have a great week, guys, and we will see you very shortly.